we are meant to get to Waiguru, then why are we put in a world with so many worldly distractions? Okay, if we were meant to be there, why were we put here? The simple answer I can give you is why Guru is here. First understand that you're not meant to be somewhere else. You're meant to be here and why Guru is already here. So now the question is, if I'm already here and why Guru is already here, what do I need to do? Now what you need to do is change the way you perceive the world. Because you perceive the world, and I perceive the world, in a way that says, Oh, look at all this nice stuff. I'd like some of that, and I want to get all this nice stuff. But all of this nice stuff isn't for you to take, because all of this nice stuff isn't going to go with you. And that's how we all live our lives. We just look at the world and say, I want more. The ones who've understood, they've just said, look at all this nice stuff. Wow, I bow down to you. They change the way they look at the world. They don't look at the world as though it's something to get. They look at the world as, wow, look at what's here. It's amazing. So what do you have to do? You don't have to get to Waiguru. Forget that guy. Yeah? Because your idea of what is Waiguru is a Christian idea of God, which is an old man with a white beard sitting in the clouds. And when I say you, I mean all of us. Yeah? I'm not singling you out. You start by saying that if we're meant to get to Waiguru, which means if I'm here and Waiguru's over there, why am I here and why are you over there? I'm saying there's no Waiguru over there, there's Waiguru over here. And the only thing that you have to realize is that you aren't here and Waiguru isn't there. Waiguru is here and this is also Waiguru. So the only thing you have to do is change your thinking and the whole of Guru Granth Sahib helps you to change your thinking that says, oh, I don't have to go anywhere, I have to realize it's already here. Now the why is almost a question that can't be answered. Why are we in this situation that the world is in such a way that we are programmed in such a way? The Gurus start by straight away saying, if you ask why, there's no real answer to that why. Yeah? hovan akar, hukum na kahe ajai. The world has been created according to how it's going to be created, but you can't explain why. Hukum na kahe ajai. You can't explain why. It just is. And the gurus didn't try to give a definition of why is the world like this. Because let's say I give you an answer and say why the world is like this. I say, okay, God woke up one day and he decided that it was going to be like this because he was feeling like this. Let's say that's the answer, yeah? That there is a reason why the world is the way it is and why we have to get back to God in that way. What are you going to do with that answer? You can't do anything. Because you're still here, you still have to deal with the same thing. Now you just have an answer that says, oh, I know why, but I'm still here. It's like... If you're at the bottom of a well, what do you need? Do you need somebody to send you a piece of paper that says, oh, yep, I know I'm at the bottom of the well. Now I know why. Why are you at the bottom of the well? Because I fell down. Now I know the answer why. Is that what you need? Or do you need a ladder that helps you get out? Don't worry about the why. Don't worry about the piece of paper that tells you why you're at the bottom of the well. You shouldn't be asking for that. You should be asking for, how do I get out? Not, why am I in this world and why is the world in this way? It's the question is, okay, you're in. And now somebody else has come down the bottom of the well and they're called the Guru. And they say, hey, don't worry about the why. Let me explain to you your inner well. Let me show you the way out. I've got a secret way out. You know, because other people around the well, they don't even know that they're in the well. They don't even know. They're just saying, this part of the well, that's mine. And somebody says, that's not yours, that's mine. They're fighting over which part of the well they want to be in. And the Guru is so kind. And the Guru doesn't stay up there. The Guru comes down, down the well and he says, guys, you're at the bottom of the well. This is not important. I've got a way out. They said, no, 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 we don't need to listen to you. I just want to have a nice big part of the well. And they're all, do you see? This is how we're working. We're all stuck in this world. 
And nobody's actually asking, what do I do about it? Everyone's saying, no, I want, I want this and I want that, and you want this and you want that. And the guru's coming along and saying, guys, I've got a way out of this problem. He said, no, we quite like it here. We've been here for a long time. We're comfortable. So there is really no answer to why the universe is like that, but there is a way out. Now the question is, do you want the way out? That's the question you should be asking. Do I want a way out?